especially when you got to deal with the devil all week, you want to come here and not deal with him. Amen. 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 So we, we come and we are all students of the word of God. If we didn't have no music, we'd, we'd be in the word. Amen. Amen. We thank God for the music, though. It's real good now. But amen. We thank God. So adamantbeliever.com forward slash. Look at somebody and say the main thing. The main thing. Our world has created so many distractions in this life that many have forgotten their main objectives. Yeah, most people wake up thinking about something that's not as important as what they should be thinking about. Yeah, you wake up thinking about somebody else and what they did to you. That's the wrong way to wake up. The rest of your day is going to be trash. You wake up thinking about what somebody did to you years ago. It's the wrong thing. Amen. Wake up thinking about what you going to post on the internet to get some attention. The wrong thing. But all of these distractions are created to make us forget our main objective. There are many things in this life that bring us joy and excitement. Amen. Amen. But we must be careful not to forfeit our godly purpose for them. Amen. 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 If it's getting in the way of you coming and fellowshipping with people, then it's, it's, it's too important. Amen. Oh, did I get some amens on that? Amen. No, we're not in here for a show, and this is not a formality. Amen. You're in here for a reason. Amen. God created the church for a reason. Amen. Why is the church always the first thing to go? It's so expendable in people's lives. Yeah. They won't miss work like that. They won't miss birthday parties like that. They won't miss their anniversary like that. No, we going to Cancun. <laughs> but it's a tornado, it's a, it's a typhoon and a hurricane. We going to Cancun. They're not going to let it, nothing mess their plans up. But a little bit of rain, and it ain't raining in three months, done hit this building today, and folks stayed home. I can look over here in the overflow. And I could tell. But look, man, God bless us, because we used to didn't have to open the wall when the rain came. But it's a lot of people here. Praise God for all of you that, amen, rolled the storm through. While riding through. We rolled through the storm. A little bit of rain. And church becomes expendable. I don't think I'm going to go. My big toe swell up when it rain. Your toe swell up in the club too and you was in there putting it on everybody. <laughs> toe swell up in that bakery and that didn't stop you from getting that dozen. <laughs> yeah, I, I know I'm telling the truth. Little bit of rain. I think I'll stay home. Why? Because church is expendable. Yeah, God's time. I give him some time some other time. Yeah. How do you think God feels about that? One day. Look at somebody and say one day. One day. And you at home in your underwear with a box of chicken. I don't know why it's a box of chicken. It just, it just seems like that fit. And you know it's leftover chicken because you ain't going nowhere. You ain't going to get a fresh box. You already had that box of chicken. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> there are many things in this life that bring us joy and excitement, but we must be careful not to forfeit our godly purpose for them. God stop using you because you lazy. Yeah, 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 you can't depend on you. If it rain, you ain't going. So what is he gonna invest in you when you a bad investment? Amen. 
The Lord know he know what I'm going to do. He said, okay, it's time for truth by about 14. What's getting ready to happen? My wife know what I'm going to do. Everybody, everybody in my family knows it's clockwork. I'm going to be waking up early. I'm going to be seeking the face of the Lord. I'm going to pre prepare this message like I did the other 13 times. Because I like my job and I want to keep my job. I don't need somebody else doing it if he's called me to do it. So I got to be diligent about it. And I can't let things distract me from it. Amen. And every time I get ready to do one of these messages, oh the devil. I mean, we just we it's so we, we just talk about it all the time. Like, oh yep, that's 14. That's part 14 right there. Yeah, the devil tries everything to stop it. Why would you want to be stopping this message that can help millions of people? Who does that? The devil! Please ask these one in 14. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, all is what? None of it means anything. That means the distractions at the end of the day when Jesus returns aren't going to mean anything. Your Facebook page ain't going to mean anything. Your Instagram is not going to mean anything. Your YouTube channel is going to mean nothing. Yeah, all the stuff you chasing each day is going to mean nothing. Some seek after riches, fate, fame, and accolades to the point of sacrificing what should be of utmost importance. As a model citizen, we talked about that last week, right? The model citizen. As a model citizen of God's kingdom, we cannot be selfish and put our desires before our what? true purpose. See, sometimes you got to check yourself. Amen. Amen. Somebody's going to say before you wreck this. What is that to you? We got a 14 can't come soon enough. Somebody needs something. And they going to say riggedy wreck. So put the little scratch in there. God. <laughs> I'm guilty. I, that day, as soon as I said it, that came I'm like, that's the power of music. So I'm trying to preach to y'all. Soon as I said, I'm trying to help all of us. Soon as I said, boy. Yeah, but you do have to check yourself and make sure the internet isn't controlling you. Make sure your page and your ability to post to people that you would never have that ability. Most of us, when we were younger, we never had the ability to talk to that many people. That's right. That's right. So we got to sometimes check ourselves. See where it's coming from. But as a model citizen, we can't be selfish and put our desires before our true purpose. Matthew 16 and 24 says, Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and what? Follow me. When the kenosis happens, which is the emptying out of yourself, that's when you're able to truly follow him. Yeah. You start following him and you're following other things. But at the end of that path, it should just be you and him. Yeah. Yeah. You should start denying some things you just have to give up no matter how much you love them. How much of a passion that was. This was my dream. This was my goal. Yeah, but when you put that dream and that goal before God, the devil knows it. And he's going to use it to lure you in. Every one of our desires must be fully vetted by the word of God and prudence. That means you run it by God. And then you figure out if it's a prudent decision. How will it affect my future? We cannot make decisions based on happiness or what we feel or what we feel we need or won't. Amen. Don't make decisions based on how you feel right now. You can make some decisions. You know, I'm hungry. I do want a box of chicken. That's a right now decision. 
But even then, you better be prudent. I had 10 pieces yesterday. I need to start thinking about my future. That's what prudence is. Amen. So, we must be... We must vet everything by the word of God. We just can't live our lives doing what we want to do. Amen. Amen. Look at somebody and say, you can't do everything you want to do. Amen. And you got to think about how will this affect my future? Yeah. That's why I don't understand people that treat other people bad. Right. My daddy used to always say that. Ooh, he used to say that. He say, watch it now. You might need them. Man, my daddy would say that. You might need them. Yeah, you got something they want right now, but eventually you might need them. So you got to be prudent. Sow the right seeds now. When you're sowing seeds, it's going to grow up to whatever you sow. And it's going to be multiplied. Yeah, you sowing seeds of discord. Discord's going to come against you, multiply. You sowing seeds of malice and anger and hatred, you're going to have a tough life. And ain't nobody going to have to say it, it's going to be a finger doing this. Mm -hmm. Remember? See, we don't forget. So you know what it's linked to. Yeah, when it comes back, you're going to... Yeah. So you got to be careful, prudent, think about the future of your actions. Amen. Only God knows the future and he knows how our desires will affect us and others. This is why you vetted by him, because only he knows the future. Y'all, we can't see far enough to act up. Psalm says, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he will do what? Give thee the desires of thine heart. Look at somebody say, the main thing. These are the main things, just in case you didn't know. I know what the main thing is in your life. Isn't that something? Yeah, I'm going to give you the main thing in all of our lives. And it's no different for any one of us in here. We all got the same main thing. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And we got to keep the main thing the what? Main the main thing. Yes. Men! Yes, sir. Our purpose is to be leaders of homes, families, churches, etc. We're leaders. Amen. Amen. That's the main thing. But we must learn to be led in order to lead properly. So the main thing is learning how to be led. Somebody come to you, correct you, learn how to be corrected. Learn the posture of correction. Learn the humility it takes to take your self down for the authority of another. Yeah. You don't know how to submit to authority? How do you have a job? Isn't that crazy? They can submit to authority on the job. Some old homosexual that's over you. You're doing everything he say for that check. Sweep that back up. Yes, sir. Ma'am, sir. One of them. Yes, just yes. Yeah. But come to church. Pastor Tay, hey brother, you know, I, I, I really, I don't want to really use you in this area. I really want to, what? That's my call from the Lord. Well, God ain't called me and told me yet. Amen. What? You don't understand. That's what I'm supposed to do. When can I get in the preaching lineup? Brother, God hasn't told me to put you in the preaching lineup. Yeah, but they can't, they, they, they. Oh, 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 so what? And then they always send me that email. Look at me, sending me pictures. Look at me, teaching this congregation. <laughs> and I have things I'd like to say. But the Holy Ghost. 
So I just said, well, praise the Lord, man. Praise the Lord. You found what got somebody. Praise the Lord, brother. <laughs> yeah, but you got to be able to submit to authority. You can't come to this church and not know how to submit to authority. Because right. there's authority here. Now the Cleveland come to you and say, hey, brother, don't do that no more. You better be prepared not to do it again. Yes. Or find you somewhere else to be. Because he's an elder, he's an authority here. Amen. Amen. Elder Aaron, come tell you, hey, you can't park right there. Amen. Well, why can't I park that? Y'all got special parks for special people? Yes. Yes, yes we do. Oh, y'all got special seats now, huh? Well, we've been having them. That's not new. Amen. <laughs> I mean, what am I supposed to say? I'm not going to lie to you, brother. No, we don't want you there. You falls asleep on the couch. <laughs> and the camera shoots right there. Get up. Rip. And go in the back. Van Winkle. You always sleep. Amen. No, you got church on Sunday. Why you sleep it every Sunday morning? Who can't prepare for that the day before? But it's not important. It's expendable. Can't fall asleep on my job. Can't fall asleep. Amen. You see that? When I'm making some money, I can't fall asleep. But church, God, I, I, he, he's expendable. You know what you're really saying? He's really not here. Oh, I know I'm preaching. Yeah. My wife tell you, uh, Saturday, I'm going to bed. And I'm going to bed early. Because I can't be up here sleeping. Amen. The message will turn into all jokes if I'm sleeping. <laughs> This means we must overcome all trauma and bad decisions of others so that our leadership will not be hindered by our emotions and hurt. Amen. 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 My wife does something, my kids do something that makes me angry. I can't let my emotions cause me to say something with my authority that I shouldn't say. If I have authority, I have to be careful what I say. Yeah. Amen. God told me that a long time ago. God told me, said, don't, don't pay attention to people talking against you and stuff because they're not talking with any authority. Yeah. See, there's a difference. When you have God's authority and you speak, it's effective. When you don't have it, it's messy. Those are the only two choices. Yeah his authority and he chooses who he's going to give his authority to right. and he ain't going to give it to somebody overcome with trauma because they're going to make bad decisions to hurt everyone else so as leaders we got to take care of the trauma so our leadership will not be hindered by our emotions and hurt we must also lead our own bodies so that sin will not master us and cause us to fall or be disqualified to lead. Amen. Look at somebody and say, get yourself together, man. You have to. You got to. This is the main thing. Yes, sir. This is the main thing. Yeah. God must be first. Our passions must be fruitful enough to provide for our family and secure our children. Yeah. Why, are you, why are you passionate about stuff that you can't feed your family with? See, I know I just preached. Yeah, now it's okay to do other things, but you can't spend all your time in there and your kids hungry. You can't spend all your time in there and your wife can't ever get her hair done. I know I'm preaching and hey, you know, this is the message that makes the, the, the effeminate men hate me. This is what makes them all attack me. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, the creation role message. That's what it is. Creation role. It's been that way from day one. I don't preach anything else because God didn't tell me to preach anything else. And we got proof. 
that this message is effective. Amen. The ones that don't like it don't have no fruit to prove it wrong. Amen. I got fruit to prove it right. Amen. So, our passions need to be fruitful enough to provide for our families, secure our children. Make sure everybody else is okay before you are feeling okay all the time. Hey man, we were so broke, Elder, I was so broke, I would take food home to my family and it didn't act like I had somewhere to go. Because it wasn't enough for me. But I wanted them fed. Yeah. No, that, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Well, you see the glory, but man, man, you have no idea. You have no idea. Me and my cousin, was, we was living in a vacant apartment and had a, a, a pot of pig feet. And that's all we had. And we had to eat that pig feet for like three days. Oh, you looking like that now, Elder, but you get hungry enough, you will suck that toe till it's white as snow. They don't know. They ain't never had a pig feet. You ain't never had a pig feet. Brother, you don't know. That thing will minister to you. I don't care how you looking at me, Anne Marie. I felt you burning my back up. I turned around. Oh, somebody's peering. The Jew. Amen. We all had our struggles. Amen. And feet had to last us. I no money, man. Yeah. You ain't never had the hamburger helper without the hamburger, have you? The bald helper. Y'all ain't never just had helper. It's the good old noodles, boy. Put that packet in there and dream about meat. And if you just happen to have a can of Viana sausages, you cut that up and it worked just as well as ground beef. Man, I don't know, y'all don't know. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, God, man. And you know, we had, we couldn't, we, we couldn't afford spam. Y'all talk against spam, but we couldn't even afford that. We had to get the white can. It was a form of spam, but it tastes like medicine. Y'all know what I'm talking about? And the potted meat. It, potted meat, there was a name brand. Swanson had a great one. But the off brand, it was just white and it smelled like medicine. I don't know what that chemical is, but you know you got the off brand because that chemical resides in it. And I, man, we ate that. You get hungry enough, that potted meat turned into caviar. You, fry, you can fry Spain if you got electricity. <laughs> See, that's the problem. You ain't got no money, you don't have no electricity. Can't fry. <laughs> and the off-brand Spam, the white can, the little key that you twist, it always breaks. <laughs> Look, somebody, you can't even see it register. It always breaks. Now you gotta go get a hammer and a knife and just might, you might injure yourself. Kevin probably got cuts on his hand, right? And when he had to bust that can open. They don't, they don't spend no money on that key, it's off-brand. Y'all didn't live like I lived. That's why I have an appreciation. That's why when, I, when we in worship, I'm crying because I can't believe what God has brought me from. I can't believe. Our passions must be fruitful enough to provide for our families and secure our children. Ministry is second to our homes and families. First natural, 
10 spiritual. Don't come in and speak it in tongues and we all starving. Go get some food. Come back and speak in tongues while you feed us. I know I'm preaching. Don't get overly spiritual that you forget your responsibility, man. You're responsible. Amen. Ain't nobody gonna believe you don't have no money or need money and you got $400 Jordans on. Don't come ask me for nothing dressed like that. You better find something else to put on. Cause I see money on you. Bro, you ever heard of StockX? And go? You need some money. Ministry is second. Whenever a man puts ministry or passions above his family, listen to this. He's using it for self-worth and power because he has failed that family in his own heart. Yeah. That's the person that's... Yeah. Amen. As men! Any men in here? As men, we must keep the main things the main thing. Provider, protector, and priest, those are the main things. When we stand up for our homes, God stands up for us. Amen. 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 First Thessalonians 4 and 4. That every one of you should know how to what? Possess his vessel. Get yourself under control in sanctification and honor. Women! <laughs> Women were created to be help needs for a husband. Amen. Now, however you got to help them, you just got to help them. It's all built into help meetness. Yeah, whatever help he need. Yeah. Our world has distorted this purpose so that families will fail. The devil knows if he births issues in women, he can change the world like he did in the garden. So as a woman of God, your first purpose is your husband. Every married woman in here. Your first purpose. Your first purpose is your husband. Amen. Can you do what he say when he needs you to do what he says? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, one of the prerequisites of being a help meet is being able to be asked for help. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, if every time your husband speaks to you, you got to come back for it, he's going to stop speaking to you. Can I be honest in here? Yeah. If he brings up something that needs to be done you know, around the house or something he'd like done or something, and you got to come back, well, then he's going to stop saying it. Yeah, and you flipped your house upside down. Yeah, you got to make the path easy. So he can talk to you. And get your help. There's a storm outside and then there's one brewing on the inside. Boy, but it's the truth. It's the truth. You know it's true. Even if you getting, if your jaw's getting tight, they getting tight because you know I just pulled. I sat on your row today. Yeah, but you gotta do that. You gotta make it easy for him to come. When you know that you're the help meet, his help meet, then you gotta open the open the path. Just allow him in. Hey, what is it? What can I help you with? Have you ever asked him that? Don't think he knows and don't even think he's going to say it. Ask him. That helps enhance your purpose. Ooh, the women like, you didn't spend this much time on the men's section. Yes, I did. <laughs> women are not created to lead men, rule over men, manipulate men, or preach and teach men. So if any of that is your passion, your passion is from Satan. Now, corporate America and all that, 
hey, a job is a job. You the boss. You got me and I'm on your job. Don't be like, oh, well, should I? No, go do your job. Just do your job. Now, I hate this. Corporate America is using women as helpmeets. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. They're, they're taking advantage yeah. of what God created women for. Yeah. Amen. They're better organizers than men. Amen. Yeah. Have better memories. Yes, Amen. Yes, Cleaner, neater. Yes, yeah. <laughs> they can't troubleshoot. <laughs> women can't do that. No, women can't do that. That's why there's a male chess champion and a female chess champion. They don't let the man and the woman play chess together. Our minds are different. Women can't beat a man in chess. The <laughs> only way she can beat him is if he don't know how to play. If he's a master, She's a master, she's gonna lose. Every time. Yeah, they know. We're not made the same. But women weren't created for that. They weren't created to lead men, rule over men, manipulate men, preach to men, or teach men in church. Not at all. Amen. Not at all. God did not give the woman that authority. Yep, and when you start doing it, your body's gonna break down. He said he cast Jezebel into her bed. That's the sick bed. The Bible is specific. Amen. See, another thing that angers me is the reason why there's an LGBT is because the church didn't preach creation roles. If the church had preached creation roles and stood on creation roles, and if we had taught our kids creation roles, then there'd be no questioning what their purpose is and what they should be. Nobody would be bending genders if they had clarity on their role. If they understood there's a difference between a man and a woman and there's nothing in between. Amen. Church should have taught that. They couldn't teach that because he was on the organ and directing the choir. Yeah. So you couldn't teach it or he would be offended then you wouldn't have no music. So you sacrificed a generation of young people and now they're questioning their gender. They're battling gender dysphoria. One in three teen girls will experience a homosexual lesbian relationship before they graduate. Somebody didn't preach. Yeah. Somebody wasn't strong enough or courageous enough to stand up to the naysay and say, no, I'm not going to stop preaching the truth. Yeah. Amen. So we're going to preach it in here. Amen. Women should not pursue anything as purpose or passion other than family. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey, before you clap, let me finish, because somebody's like, now. <laughs> Careers, various pursuits, etc., are things that women may be good at doing, but her fulfillment and peace will always be rooted in a creation role from God. Amen. So no matter what you do outside the home, what you do inside of the home is what's going to give you the peace. Amen. Amen. So I'm not talking about talking against women working and doing things outside of the home. I'm just saying that can never bring you the fulfillment and peace that your creation role will give you. Amen. So you better keep a very good balance right. if you want peace. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Can I keep preaching in here? Yeah. Yeah. So you shouldn't pursue it as a purpose. Because that's not your purpose. Your job ain't your purpose. You shouldn't pursue it as a passion. It's not your passion. Your creation role has to be your passion. I'm preaching in here. Well, it's not. Well, make it. Many women today seek out societal norms for happiness, but these do not bring peace. So their bodies break down, they become mentally ill, chasing after worldly purpose public, uh, uh, publicly while fighting depression, anxiety, and high blood pressure in private. 
Women, you must keep the main thing what? The main, the main thing. If you are married, you must not sacrifice your home for accolades outside of your home. That's right. I'm preaching in here like never before. And folk don't want to clap. Oh, I'm preaching. I feel it all down in me. I know. I feel it, Elder. <laughs> See, that's why I got to have Elder right there, man. Got to. Now, so single women, here you go. I know you was wondering now. Wait, what about me? <laughs> if you are single, you must keep God first and stay close to him. Yeah. Well, I've heard that before, but are you doing it? I don't want to. Why do people do that? They always say that because it's always the truth. <laughs> That's what you have to do. Keep God first. Stay close to him. The husband you desire is in him. Because if he's, if he's not in him, he's not the one you desire. He's the wrong one. He's good for a weekend. Yes, I'm on rolls today. I feel it. Ooh. Somebody don't want me to go visit Xander no more. Is this what happens? Yeah, the husband you desire is in him, and if you stray away from him, you will more than likely land a stray man. Stray away from God, get a stray. Being with a stray is, man, it's better to be alone. You can do bad all by yourself. Amen. Never put your occupation, wants, desires, or opportunities above God's purpose for you. First Timothy 2 and 11, let a woman learn in what? When he's talking to you, be quiet. Yes. Quietness. Learn in quietness. It's time to learn, be quiet. Time to learn what he desires in the home, be quiet. any claps because I'm just I'm gonna stay right there clapping has nothing to do with this That's right. stay quiet it's a good lesson you're learning now be quiet don't clap nothing. just be quiet yeah like you're learning now Amen. Yeah. folks ain't allowed to jump up in here and say stuff to me That's right. amen ain't nobody jumping up yeah, but what about my brother Be a red dot on you. <laughs> Might be on you now. Look around. <laughs> then I already seen something they didn't like. <laughs> yeah, but don't nobody do that. Why? Because that's out of order. That's out of order. That's right. And that's saying that I have no authority. Mm -hmm. That God is not speaking through my authority to you. Right. That's what you're saying when you jump up and interrupt me. When you interrupt any preacher, that's what you're saying. It's rude and wrong, right? But it only shows that you don't respect the thought. Yeah, yeah. But when the cops stop you, you under the steering wheel. Show me your life and registration. Yeah, yeah. When your boss correct you, hey man. Hey, you ain't finished doing this. <laughs> yeah. But if, I'm, if, if a preacher's preaching, you're going to jump up and challenge him? No, that's authority that you're interrupting. Amen. Amen. Well, it's the same in your home. Yes, sir. Amen. 
if he's the head of the home. Amen. If he's the head of the home Amen. and the leader of the home, then when he's giving instruction, not that he's telling you what to do, we know you grow. Right. He's telling you how the home should be because God is going to come to him if it fails. Amen. God went to Adam. Eve messed it all up. But he said, Adam, where are you? I left you in charge. Eve didn't run it by Adam before she had the whole conversation. So that's what I'm saying. Somebody said, well, he was right there with her. Yeah, but the Bible said that the woman was the one deceived, not the man. Amen. That's what the Bible said. Yes, sir. Amen. Right. Yes, sir. Amen. You just a male chauvinist. No, I'm not. I just believe the word and, and God's order. Amen. 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 Now, that don't mean you go home and try to boss her around yeah. knowing she can whip you. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. I don't treat my wife like that. Amen. But. You're supposed to learn in quietness yeah. when it's time for the man to give instruction. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. That's good. Yes, man. Let's go back to the scripture. <laughs> First Timothy 2 and 11. Let a woman learn in what? Quietness. Quietness in how much submissiveness? Quietness. Just her toe and her leg is submitted. Presbytery, these are, this is the clergy. The devil's greatest tool to use against church leaders today is digital distractions. The internet, social media was created to be a distraction against the gospel of Jesus. Men are no longer desiring to lead congregations of real people or be in physical fellowship with leaders. Now people just want likes, views, comments, etc. They're able to spin webs or influence in the digital realm without being led, monitored, counseled, or a council by spiritual authorities. You got to be careful who you watch and who you listen to. Amen. Yeah, because they can spin webs. Web is never good. You get caught in a web and can't get loose. Yeah. The internet is never about soul winning, but it's about soul drawing. Big difference. People use themes, ideas, craftiness, and cunning visuals and vocals to draw audiences instead of doing the real work of a pastor or shepherd. Yeah. The internet also measures people's influence by followings instead of leadings. God can have rejected them. They could, God could just reject them and then go on the internet and be accepted. Yeah. They can walk into church and won't nobody follow them. But they can go on the internet and be followed. Leaders of God, we must keep the main thing what? The digital realm is deceiving and full of emotion. But the real world requires a strong stance and a good fight. In order to truly fulfill your ministry call, you must do it in person with people. <laughs> and I, I, I wouldn't expect no amen. But to fulfill your call, you got to do the work of an evangelist, what they did in the Bible days. Right. You got to talk to somebody. You can't wake up, get on the internet every morning, and people walking in front of your house and walking in front of where you live, and you don't never say nothing to real humans. You don't have a ministry. You have an account. I know I, they ain't going to like this one. The ability to teach and preach on the internet will soon go away anyway because of AI and AI is getting smart enough to mimic and counterfeit people. They will soon require digital identification, the mark of the beast, to authenticate us to prove that we are not AI. So eventually, that's gonna be your login, the mark. How else they gonna know it's you? <laughs> Can you imagine being forced to take the devil's mark to preach against him? The only way you can get on here is to take the devil's mark and you on there preaching against the mark. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. 
ain't going to happen. So you better, be, you better get before some real people and learn how to properly lead them in the physical realm. Amen. First Thessalonians 5 and 12. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you. I, that just wipes the whole thing clean right there. Amen. Know them that labor among you. Amen. You don't know folks from the internet. Amen. It's a tough one to swallow for some folks because they launched their ministry after they got mad at somebody. God don't call people to ministry in anger. Amen. Don't get mad at somebody and start a ministry. That's ridiculous. Summary. This was a blessed message. Somebody's jaws are so tight. Have you forgotten why you awaken each day? Now think about this stuff as I read it. Have you forgotten why you awaken each day? Are you depressed more often now because of the actions of others. Has the devil snuffed out your fire for God and seeing people overcome their issues and trauma by magnifying yours? We must keep the main thing the main thing. It's not about us, it's about our purpose in God. Our husbands, wives, children, lineage, legacy, ministry, etc., are what's truly important to God and must remain important to us. We cannot get off track this late in the fight. Amen. We are about to see the end times unfold in a way we never have before. It's about to go down quickly. Look at somebody and say quickly. 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 And we must be focused on what God deems important. When we are not entangled with the world, we can cut loose at any time. When our hearts are not tethered to our earthly possessions, passions, or goals, then we can lose it all yes. and remain yes, content in him. Amen. Yeah. 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 Preachers are now signing up with false God doctrines and different things. They're signing up with Freemasonry and different things. The devil wants an allegiance with them so they won't be able to cut ties when it all goes down. Yeah. They're coming for the church. They're coming for you. They want you to make agreements and covenants with them. So when it's time, you'll have to take the mark to keep what you work so hard for. Come on. To keep your passion. Your vision, your goals, and you'll take it too. Because that's been your main thing all along. But if we keep God's main thing our main thing, we can cut ties at any time. Oh, yeah, I like that, but I'm going to cut ties. As a matter of fact, I'm cutting ties now. So I'll have to do it later. Why would I wait for that? I'm just not going to involve myself with the devil like that. When our hearts are not tethered to our earthly possessions, passions, and goals, then we can cut it loose and remain content in him. When what's important to God becomes important to us, we will live in peace. And we won't worry about what the enemy is doing around us. So stay in his purpose, people of God, and keep the main thing, the main thing. Psalms 119 and 4 says, Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. I will, look at somebody and say, I will. I will. Keep, thy Keep thy statutes. Oh, forsake me not. Utter me. Everyone stand to your feet. Are you really going to keep his statutes? 
in exchange for what's convenient? In exchange for what you really, really like to do? In exchange for your passion, your dream, your desire? You got to keep his will. You got to do his will. His will is the main thing. Now, here's what happens when you're young and you're growing up and, you know, the devil will come and sow something in your life and do something to your life to hinder you or hurt you or traumatize you. And then from that point on, you start striving, striving to have this, do this, whatever. And that can pull on you for the rest of your life. God wants you to cut ties with everything. I'm not saying quit your job, but be ready to. <laughs> I'm not saying, I'm not telling you what to do, but be ready for anything. Because we don't know how this is going to go. But don't be in love with the world when it goes down. Amen. So no matter how hard you work and strive for it, and all oh, this is my dream, my passion, whatever, you got to be able to cut it loose when the time comes. I want to pray for you that's struggling with that. I don't know what happened to you when you were young. I don't know what put you on that path of striving. Some things came, became too important for you. Too important to you. And you want those things to level down. And God's main thing to be of utmost importance. You aren't what you do. You're who God made you. So if you want that prayer, come on up. Whoever you are, come on. Got to be able to let this go. If I, Man, if things keep going the way they're going, I'm going to have to separate myself. I'm going to have to walk away. I have to cut the ties. Can't look at it as an opportunity. Oh, God, want me to do No, no, I got to look at it as something that I might have to cut ties with. I just might have to do that. I might have to take less money. I might have to struggle a little bit. Whatever it is, just come on up. All opportunity is a good opportunity. Amen. And all opportunity, all opportunity isn't God's opportunity. Amen. Amen. Anyone else? I don't want nothing in the way between, I don't want nothing in between me and what God wants. And that should be your prayer today. Hallelujah. 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 Everyone bow your heads. Father God, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for the wonderful worship service we had today. Thank you, Father God, for your power and your presence being in this place so strong. We thank you, God, for just your love for us, to give us your truth, and to keep us rooted and grounded in it as a ministry. We thank you, Lord, for the way you made us. Thank you, God, for making us men and women. Thank you, God, for making the men, the providers, protectors, and priests, and the women, the help meets for the men. Thank you, God, for your divine order that is perfect. Your way works. Thank you, Father God, for how you biologically made us, psychologically made us, emotionally, mentally, how you made us. We thank you. And, Father, we want the main thing to be the main thing we want your main thing to be our main thing so anything that's in the way anything any desire any wish any dream any passion father god anything that we've just studied on for a long time long period anything we've wished for anything father god that we selfishly embrace embrace father god we ask that you would remove it take it away if it's not for us take away the very desire of it if it's not for us remove it from our life if it is not 
for us. If it is not something that we should be pursuing, take it away. Give us the strength to cut it loose. Give us the strength to walk away. Give us the courage so that we can keep your main thing our main thing. We want to see you when you return. And we want you pleased with us. So take it away. In the name of Jesus. Everybody lift your hands, all you that came up. And Father God, just give us the strength. Give us the strength. Spirit is willing. Flesh is weak. Give us the strength to walk away. It's a bad relationship. It started out bad. It ain't going to end in marriage. Help us walk away. Help us walk away. Amen. Help us walk away. Constantly fighting and arguing. Help us walk away. Help us not say anything. Just walk away. Give us courage, strength, so that we'll remember what's important to you and keep that important to us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hug somebody and say, I'm going to keep the main thing. The main thing. Come on, say, God's main thing is my main thing. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.